welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to import an image or picture into paint.net and then blur out a selection of that image. To start off with, first you need to find the picture or image you would like to use in paint.net. I have my wallpaper here. I'm just going to simply right click and go copy. Once you have copied the picture or image, you can also do this by opening up the image and then just right click in and go and copy. We can then go on to paint.net. You now need to go up to the top left hand corner and click on edit and we now need to click on paste. You now have two options. You can keep the current canvas size or we can expand the canvas. Just remember if you keep your current size canvas, if the image is bigger than the canvas, you won't be able to fit the full image in. So we want to select expand. And there we go. That is my wallpaper. As you can see, it's been added to a background layer, which is absolutely fine. We now want to select our rectangle tool and we're just going to click to deselect the wallpaper or image and we're now going to create a new layer. I'm now going to go back to my background layer and I'm now going to select my text using my rectangle tool and I'm just going to unclick and there we go. I now have that selection of the image selected. I'm now going to go Control and C to copy or you can go to the top left hand corner and click on edit and then copy. I'm now going to go to layer 2 and I'm now going to go control and V. Or you can click on edit and go to paste. And we have now pasted that bit of text or that part of the image onto the second layer. If I just hide my background layer by clicking on this arrow, as you can see that's what we have just pasted in on layer 2. And that's what we are going to blur. I'm now going to show my background layer again. And I'm now going to select my layer 2 again. And you can keep it selected or we can just press enter and not have it selected. It doesn't matter. We now need to go up to effects. And you now need to go to blurs. And we can now go ahead and select a blur. I'm just going to select, let's go with the motion blur. That's cool. And straight away, as you can see, that blur is taking an effect on the text. If I change the distance, we can make it look cool like that. We could change it from centered. We can keep it centered. We can do lots of different things. And yeah, that is basically how we can blur a bit of text or anything on a image. And basically, the reason I've done it in two layers is it now hasn't affected the original image. If I go back to my background image, the text is still there. You can also go ahead and select very carefully what you would like to blur out by going to the lasso select tool over on the left hand side. And we could then select our background layer and we can then go around like so. I'm not doing this obviously carefully, but yeah, I've selected that area now. I could then control and C and copy that area and put it on a new layer. Or if you don't actually want to do that and you want it to make the changes on the layer that we're currently on without creating any more layers, select the area, then go up to effects and go back to your blur and then select what blur you'd like to use. And straight away, as you can see, it's now taken effect to that original layer. If I press OK, and if we press enter, there we go. And that's how simple it is. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forums.